At one time in my life, after my husband's death, I was tempted to live common law with a man I cared for, but thank God I never did. One day I confided in a priest, and he told me I have high morals. I cannot go along with a lot of these sex acts, and I have never ever been a whore or a prostitute. One of the biggest decisions I ever had to make in my life was whether or not to sell my home and how much to ask for it. My mind was tortured again. My daughter told me one night to get out her sister's Bible, which is called the Living Bible, and pray about it. I did. The next day I had a Christian girlfriend over who knew what I was going through, so she said to me, Nancy, I feel a real need for prayer for you. Let's go into the living room and pray. So we did. We joined hands and prayed together. She then said, I'm sorry, but I have to leave. I walked her to the door and instantly a mail truck pulled up with a package for me. And I knew in my heart what it was. And I told her before the mailman even got to my door, I was right. It was the living Bible. I had ordered it several months earlier from the PTL club on TV. Thing about it is, I did not order the living Bible. I just sent in for a Bible they were giving away and it happened to be the living Bible. I ordered one for a friend of mine the same day I ordered mine and he received his much sooner than I did and his was entirely different. His was not the living Bible. I strongly believe in miracles and in my life there have been many, even little ones. One day I was washing clothes and I got very upset because I lost a yellow doily that was part of my set for my living room tables. Meantime, I was down the basement looking at the Lord's Last Supper and praying out loud. I got so frustrated about that.